pop quiz. Will the schools of the future have students do the teaching? You know, a few weeks ago we asked you guys what subjects you'd like us to tackle here on Forward Thinking, and a lot of you said education. And since students are back in class, I thought it's the perfect time to revisit this topic, which is a tricky one, because we humans come in a lot of varieties. Our biology, our culture, our socioeconomic background can all have a profound impact on who we are. That's why I respect teachers so much. Imagine how difficult it is. Take a class of students. A few of them might be really good in the subject. A larger number might perform at a slightly lower level. And then you may have a few students who find it really challenging. So who do you teach to? If you teach to the middle group, then the students who excel might become bored. And the ones who trail behind might fall further behind. Even if you group them together by aptitude, different learning styles mean that a single teaching style might not be effective in getting that information across to students. So what's the solution to this problem? It might be something called adaptive learning. Now this is an elegant idea. It's a teaching model where your style, the lesson duration, the, the difficulty itself can vary depending upon a student's needs and abilities. It would be like every single student having their own personal teacher that can anticipate problems and make sure a student grasps subject matter and overcomes any obstacles. And you're probably not going to be surprised that it involves a lot of computers and artificial intelligence. We're talking about complex algorithms that can study the way a student performs, and if a student begins to struggle, it can adjust the lesson accordingly. This is what makes it amazing. Not only are students going to learn from computers, computers are going to learn from students. This algorithm can adjust so that it finds the most effective way to teach a student and then continue to evolve as the student goes through class. Not only that, but an outgoing class of students may benefit fit an incoming class because those computers have all that stored knowledge of which systems seem to work the best. It's a self-improving educational system. Now I'm not saying that computers are going to replace humans. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think adaptive learning will augment what teachers do in the classroom already. And it might help alleviate some of the stress and frustration a kid feels when they see that other people are grasping the subject and they're still struggling. I know this would have been helpful for me back when I was in school. Stupid calculus. All right, I have a question for all of you this week. What do you think the school of 2050 is going to look like? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and enroll in Forward Thinking University by subscribing to the channel. Then check out these videos over here for extra credit.